Hi all, uh, welcome to the mess. Uh, this is how I tie most of the time on the kitchen table. I don't have a space unfortunately, but that's cool. I don't mind, I get by. It just means I make a lot of mess and get in a lot of trouble. Anyway, I haven't tied, done a, 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 a YouTube tutorial for a little while, so so I'm, it's, I thought it was about time I did one. Uh, and if you followed me on Instagram, um, I've been tying a lot of bulkhead style flies recently um, from the original Popovix bulkhead which has been excellent, absolutely brilliant fly, uh, to various um, variants of it. Um, but for this tutorial, I'm going to tie uh, the bulkhead style, but with a dragon tail. It um, doesn't have to be a dragon tail, it can be a wiggle tail, it can be a wave tail, it can be a flash tail. So it's up to you how you want to do that. But I, I like fishing dragon tails because they find it a little bit easier to cast. Um, and... Um, I'm just confident using them. Um, for this for this fly, this is a smaller version of the ones I've been fishing mostly on the Thames. Um, I've been using these on the Fens and uh, the Bristol waters, the smaller variants. Um, so that these are tied on an Arex Trap Predator 220, and uh, but the, the larger ones that I fish on the Thames are, are being 40s and are, are quite a much bigger fly. Um, but they've all caught fish, so that's the main thing. For this, but for this one, I thought I'd do the smaller version. Uh, it's a very quick time; doesn't take long at all. Um, hopefully, there's a few tips in there that you can pick up from it. So um, let's get tying. Okay, in the vise, we've got an Arex Hooks Trap Predator 61020. We're going to use GSP 150 for this. You can use GSP 100. But I wouldn't go any less than that. Uh, you need GSP really for tying in bulkheads. Uh, more towards the head um, when you're trying to um, spread those hairs out a little bit more. So I'm going to put some glue down on this. For the tail extension, we're going to use heavy monos. For this, I'm using 60 pound. And you need only a short section. Um, you could use wire titanium um, but because we're creating such a small tail extension there really isn't any need um, the mono provides enough stiffness to prevent most of the time that tail wrapping around the hook so we're just going to use a small bead over that so this is a three mil bead just to create the loop and we're going to tie that down on top so we don't need to go too far an inch, inch past the bend of the hook and just tie that down. Now these wraps don't need to be too tight because we've got no stinger on the back of this so we don't need to be concerned about losing that tail. Just tie that down normally. A few wraps over the top and come underneath a few times just to kick that mono up like that. And then some glue over the top, keep it in place. And because we're tying a roach pattern, I'm going to use white, white and grey bucktail. So for the tail section, I tend to use the tip, mid to tip feathers. Uh, they don't contain as much air. We don't need too much. Difficult to describe how much, but you need to sort of tie a few of these to get get a feel for it. So we're not we're not talking a great deal there. And then we don't need all that length. So we're going to come maybe an inch, inch and a half past the tail. Um, what I've noticed with the dragon tails is if you've got materials over the top of them, as long as it's not too much, they, it doesn't affect the action, which is good. Because you might want to fish these flies without the tails. Just wrap that around the hook and tie that down. Now for the flash, we're going to use a mixture. I haven't got much of the uh, the moonlight left, but uh, this is moonlight, so it's a mixture of black, silver, and like a pearlescent opal. And we're going to use white Hedron Flash Shabu. Uh, for the larger flies, so size four and upwards, I tend to use a mixture of magnum as well. On those flies. So what we're going to do first, we're going to create the flash blends so we don't have to do it each time. 
So we'll have a little bit of white, so probably about a third, a third white. And a little bit more of the moonlight color. That's the last of that now. So what we do with this, we just mix it. Very easy to mix, just, just roll it like so. Making sure that, that white's mixed up with the moonlight. Now we're gonna take a third of this. Now we don't need that length. So we're gonna take maybe, maybe an inch off and we're gonna taper the ends. Like that. And we're gonna tie this in 60-40. that down, wrap all that back, try not to catch any of the uh, flash fibers, tie that down securely, come forward about five mil, add some glue, The next step is to tie some more bucktail, but we're going to use fibers nearer the middle to contain a bit more air. So I'm going to take slightly more this time. It's about building up that profile and adding bulk, bulk near the head to get that tail moving. And we're just going to separate the fibers so they're a little bit more aligned. We don't need all of that. Probably going to reverse tie back to about here. So I'm just going to take about an inch off those butts and place it on top. Two or three loose wraps round. Spread that material around. A bit bottom heavy on that one. Like that, tie down, that looks all right. Now push that back, just press it down just to force those fibers back and make sure it gives you a chance to, to move any around if they're not quite, if you've got too much on one side. Now reverse ties tie over the top of the bucktail, so two loose wraps and then pull down tight creates just a controlled flare, which is what we're looking for. You could hollow tie if you want, but then you, you're not really in control so much. Just make sure that's all lined up. That's good. Then we add some more flash. So maybe a little bit more than last time. And again, we're going to go slightly shorter than before, so take about an inch and a half off and taper those ends. Like that, 60-40, or maybe 50-50, it's up to you. So you don't have to tie this fly exactly how I've tied it. Maybe experiment a bit and do what you want to do with it. Everybody's got their own personal tastes in tying. So we add a little bit of glue. Come out, come on. There you go. Uh, for the next bit, to create the hot spot, we're going to use Hedron Strong Fuzzy Fibre. You don't need too much, just separate the salt section off. And what I do with this is just halve it. Halve it again. And just imagine where I want the hot spot to be. So it's probably a bit long there, so I'm just going to take a little bit off those ends. Just want to, don't want to completely dominate the flow of that red. I'm just going to pull those ends out a little bit so it just blends into the materials a bit more. Like so, and again we're going to do this 60-40 over the top. And we're going to wrap it 
all the way around, two loose wraps, come down tight, tie down a few, and then just spread that back and come over the top and then come forward. Now for the next step, we need bucktail near the base as it contains more air and it's just for when you when you're tying tying bulkheads it really helps to be able to flare that material out properly so i've got some base materials here we want to get rid of the under fibers again and just check those tips because uh, with bucktails you tend to have short hairs and then long hairs with this one most of them are long which is fine which is what i'm looking for now we're going to reverse, do a reverse bulk. Let's get rid of that long one. Um, so I want the bulk not to come completely over the white, maybe to come half over the white. So what I tend to do, rather than cut it after I've tied it, is do diagonal cuts. Just to um, create the, the sort of taper that I want. I'm sort of thinning out the hair so they're not all the same length on the butts because then it'll look a bit look a bit naff. So we don't we don't want the flies that look naff. So like that. So it's gonna come to about there and it's gonna go over a couple of times till three and just manipulate that bucktail around like so. And then hold those butts otherwise they will spin and just pull down tight. And there we go. Pull that back. Come forward, you want to build a dam in front of that. Like so, that'll do. Right, last lot, put a little bit more flash on it. So we're going to take about an inch off the ends of that. Taper. Like that. Make sure those flash that flash is well mixed together. Tie that on. Come over the top. Oops, I'm um, slippery th slippery thread here, so we need to just catch that because that will come out otherwise. Put some glue down. So it sinks into the thread and keeps those keeps us that flash in place. Right, last step, we're going to use a light grey bucktail. And again, we need um, fibres near the near the base. And I'm getting a bit low on this, so I'm not sure how much I can use, but there's some here. Now this 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 tail isn't ideal, but it will do. Uh, the fibres are really quite thin on it, and I've got two different lengths in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to gently separate them and put them back together again, like that, and get rid of those long ones. And we're going to do the same again. We're just going to diagonally cut into this. And we're going to do a reverse bulkhead. So we're going to come forward with the thread to about there. I could probably do a little bit more here, but it'd be fine. We're going to put Nyat over the top of this anyway, so that's not really a major issue. Thread that round, spread that round, and just hold the butts and then pull tight. There we go. And we don't have to use grey if you don't have it, you could use white. Um, we're going to put grey over the grey night over the top anyway. So I just want to build a little bit of a dam there. That'll do. The night's going to hold that down anyway. So for the night, what I like to do with my night, you've probably seen from previous videos, is I really like grey and black, especially. And we want to darken that head a little bit. So I'm going to use a mixture of grey and black. And I'm also going to 
blend it with some angelina fiber so i'm going to take more gray than i am black oh i've forgotten something we need some or well, we don't need to this is purely optional but i'm going to put some saddle feathers in this only two two short ones so we're going to tie those in on each side to lock them in place fold them back and then tie over if you don't they will fall out unless you glue same again on the other side fold back tidy that head up Okay, so we're going to use not too much nyat, just it's difficult to judge. So we cut that near the base. We want the real short underfibers out, but we want to, don't want all the underfibers out because they act, they allow, they they give it that bulk. And slightly less black. If you don't think you've got it right when you've blended it, you can always add some or take some away. So I'm just going to add a little bit of Angelina, not too much, just a little a few strands. Just to... So what I do with this, I just mix it together. Just loosely blend it. And if I think I've got, if it's too long, I can always give it a trim and then blend it again. Because as you're pulling it through like this, it creates the taper. We want to make sure all those, all that black and that grey and that flash is blended together. Otherwise, you'll get clumps of one colour on the head, and we don't want that. And if you've got too much under fibre, just take some away. If you just imagine. So I think I've got too much there, so I'm going to cut a bit off the end there, and I'm going to blend it again, and you'll see what I mean. I don't want the, the Nyat to dominate the fly. I just want to create enough bulk in our head to get that tail moving. There we go. So I think that's about right now. So just hold it in the middle. Just check your ends are nice and tapered, like that. We're going to come over this probably 50-50 or, or slightly more, maybe 60-40 actually. So we want the thread near the eye now. We want to wrap that nyat all the way around as much as you can. You'll find you won't be able to get right to the bottom, but we can manipulate it a bit. And we want two loose wraps over the top, like that. Now get a comb and just brush those fibers around. I think we've got a good spread here. And I just want to separate those fibers out. This is the tricky bit. And try and do it evenly. Try and spread them around sort of in a circle shape. We go bring the thread forward and then come back and just build up that head to force those fibers back and then whip finish do a couple of whip finishes on this one there we go I'll just get your comb and just brush it I've done better heads this one this one's okay you don't need too much night you can you can add as much as you want but you might find it's a bit too bulky the head now what I like to do is just color that thread in I've got some a gray marky marker here just color it in 
darken darken around the head a little bit more if you want. You can use black, grey, whatever colour you want. So you could fish that fly like that and it will catch fish. In fact, I know it will catch fish because I've caught fish fishing in it like that. Right, for the tails, I'll show you a quick, quick and easy way of attaching them. I can't find my silver tails, but I've got some gold ones here to give you an idea of what I do. It's really straightforward. Now I quite like using these H2O spiral clips. They're just like the fast act clips, but they've got a slightly longer shank on them. Um, I'll show you what I mean. So I'll get one out. Um, these are the size large. I've used small, medium. To be honest, it doesn't really matter. Uh, what I found with the medium to small ones is that I, I need to bend with pliers, bend that little eyelet out um, to give me a bit more space to work with. Um, but on these large ones, it's fine. I mean, they're so light anyway, you could get away with using the large one. And tails have a hat. I mean, the tails are a little bit buoyant. So they do have a tendency to ride up in the water like that. So a little bit of weight on there probably doesn't hurt anyway. So give the tail a stretch. And I'm down to my last little bit of thread here. Hopefully I've got enough. So you can use whatever thread you've got to hand. Get that started. And it's really easy to tie them on. So just leave leave a little bit of a tag end at the front. Tie it round. Like so. Whip. Do a whip finish. Three turns. That's all you need. And then just bring that tag end back. I've never lost one tied like this. The only time I've lost one is when a pike has bitten it in half. <laughs> Doesn't happen often. And then whip finish. Three turn whip is fine. There we go. Cut the tag end off, a little bit of glue. And that's it, so quick and easy. So it's Usually I'd let, let that dry, but just to show you how quick they are to put on. There we go, tail is on. And they don't fall off, they stay on. So there we go. That is a bulkhead, a variation of Bob Popovic's bulkhead with a dragon tail. That's been working really well for me in this size and larger sizes. I mean, this is the smaller size. I tend to tie these also on size uh, trap pair to four O's. Uh, with the, um, this is a size large tail. I use the XL as well. Um, I mean, you can use massive tails. They do an XXL, which is just ginormous. And, and personally, for me, I find them a little bit too big. But the XLs are the probably biggest I go. And I've had plenty of fish on my local river with those. So there we go. Give it a go. Maybe tie this one. Do a variation of your own design. Um, but the bulkhead is a very versatile fly and there's many different variations that you can tie using it. Okay, don't forget to subscribe and um, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll do another video soon. See you later, bye.